friends outdoors for adventure to start off if you haven't subscribed to our channel be sure to go down there and click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you're notified when our next videos come up uh, to go along with this video uh, go back to my last video I posted actually the last two videos I posted the, the first one of this series uh, starts out with my uh, Harbor Freight press 20 ton press that I'm using to help me on this job uh, the second video I uninstall and remove the rear axle from my Nissan Titan and I remove the bearings and seals and I show you how I do that and uh, this video we are going to reinstall the seals and bearings and put everything back together so come along on this little adventure and uh, we'll get this and tight and put back together. So you can see I've got my Arctic cup full of coffee. So we'll be sipping on some coffee while we're working on the truck. I've already kind of cleaned everything up down there. I'll do a little better job here in a little bit. I've also cleaned up on this axle shaft and this gear and my backing plate. I ran some sandpaper over my hub here. Cleaned it up some. It's pretty old, so it just ain't going to get much better than that. And then I've got my bearing. I've got my retainer. And I've got my seal. And my little C-clip is in the bucket over there. Now this is original Nissan seal. These are Timken, Timken bearings. And if you, as you can see, they already have some grease on them. Same way with this little retainer. It's got some grease on it too already. So a lot of people want to know if you're supposed to grease them up or not before you install them. Timken says you are. This seal has also already got grease on it. And I probably apply just a little bit more on this shaft because we're fixing to press these bearings on. So let's get set up to do this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just smear a little grease on this shaft. A lot of people won't use grease. I'm not going to put it thick. A little bit will go a long way. And we're going to pop off a little bit of that excess. Okay guys, we've got the Timken bearing, we've got Timken retainer, we've got Nissan original seal. They all come pre-lubed, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more lube on the seal. I've already put a little bit on here on the axle. And I could do this later on this outside, but I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit on here. It's going to help it. When we press it in there easier. It's not hurt having a little extra anyway. I said they've already got some on this seal. I want that to slide on there real easy though. Now I've already put the 
backing plate on. And then when you put your seal on, the nipple part is going to go toward the plate. Like so. Now I'm going to wipe a little bit of this excess grease off down here. The next thing that's going to go on there is going to be your bearing. And you can see this line. So the skinny part is going to go toward the, the toward the seal, and the wide part is going to go away from the seal. And after we get all this pressed on, I'll be knocking this race off, and then we'll be installing it in the axle. But until I get them pressed on, I'm going to leave it on there just to keep things from getting so dirty. So skinny side down. And it's set where it's going to have to be pressed on there. I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit more on this. And then I'm going to slide it down. It doesn't matter which way goes first. And it should fit right on top of that. Now, Okay guys, I got an early start this morning, trying to beat some of the heat, uh, so my lighting's not the best. But I've already got my stuff set up in the press here. Now what I'm thinking I'm going to do is this one here is the old race that I cut off. So I'm using it for the bottom, and then this is the new bearing and the new uh, retainer and you see the slot right there where the c-clip goes so i'm gonna have to press it up to there at least uh and what i'm gonna do on the top is i'm gonna use the old bearing race and then i found another piece of pretty thick metal that i'm gonna put over the top of that I think I got it pretty much centered up. Now I'm going to put y'all on the tripod. Okay guys, I hope I got you uh, close enough that you can see that I'm going to tighten the jack up. And let's start jacking on this. See if I got everything centered. I'm pretty sure it'll jack down that far. Looks like I need to push it back just a hair. I want this as centered as I can get it. That looks pretty good to me. I'm making sure these blocks are pushed all the way in. A lot of people will use a bearing splitter underneath this to do this job. We're going to hope we have enough space that it's high enough. Alright, we we have pressure on here. Now i got safety glasses on.
Well, let's go down some more. pressure on it. We're almost there. Okay, so you can see everything's pressed on. And you can see the groove right here where this clip's gonna go in there. I gotta wipe it down a little bit. And uh, I showed you when I took this apart how you could do it without having the proper tools. <laughs> but I do have some vice grip pliers that'll put these rings back on, different attachments. And I also wanted to show you my slide hammer that I purchased from Amazon for this job. And even though I didn't use it on this axle, I probably used it on the next one just because I got it. But as you can see in this kit, you've got the slide hammer. That's the fitting that go on your uh, axle studs to pull it out. You've got stuff that can be used to pull the bearing races out. You've got gear puller, you got a three finger, two finger, but you know, just, you can do a lot of stuff with these. And I don't think I gave it, it was under 60, maybe $60 for tax and everything for this kit. So I said I didn't use it on the uninstall. In the last video I posted, I showed how you could do this without having to have these tools. But it's always better to do it with the proper tools. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that clip on the axle. No biggie there. And uh, then I got to pop this race here off and go ahead and install it in the axle. In the axle housing. Okay, as you can see, I have popped this ring off. I just took a small straight slot screwdriver and putting that groove and it popped off pretty easy now I'll install this in the uh, axle housing and I don't know if y'all remember or not but when I took this out I could take this thing and just move it all over the place that right there it's in there good and snug so this I'm gonna slide this off and I'm gonna go install it in my axle housing Okay. Now hey, you want the thick side to go in first. Luckily, it looks like it's going to start pretty easy. Oh, 
I just don't have to beat it in. See if I can get it all the way to the back lip. Oh, there it is. And there's no back and forth, up and down movement, so it's in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead. I got I greased that up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe all the excess off, so there's nothing that builds up in between anything. Because you don't need a lot of grease on this. It's really not to keep it too lubricated. It's just to make everything slide in easier. Because you know this gets lubricated with the rear end grease. Just kind of wipe everything down a little bit. Because there's going to be grease on the bearing anyway. But that's good. You can still see a little bit of film in there, but not a lot. That's all the way back in there. So next step is going to be to grab that axle and see if we can get that slid in there and lined up with these hose. Because what I'm thinking is the bolts going to be long enough. And once we get them in the hose to display here and it's back up on the axle and we get it lined up into the pumpkin that's going to keep it to where that seal is going to go in there nice and straight. We're fixing to find out. Okay guys, here we are with the axle. You know what? I'm going to wipe this, these splines down one more time. They got just a smidgen amount of grease on it. Now let's slide. Not sure how far it has to be up in there before it gets on the. You know what, guys? I'm gonna put the disc on here a little bit so I have a little more leverage. Wipe it down real good afterwards. on that square. Go ahead and push that in some more. Looks like that seal slid right in. So let's put the nuts back on. 
Lock washers and nuts. go as straight in there as possible. Now they're pretty much tight. I'll get a torque wrench and go down to wherever they're supposed to be torqued to. So let's just give this axle a test. See if it'll wiggle back and forth. That feels right. Now in and out. Almost nothing, very little. And before I had a good sixteenth of an inch in and out. Now it's just minute. I'm happy with that. And I think when I torque this down a little bit more, it will be just a little bit tighter, but that feels right. I like it. So uh, before I put the sensor and caliber back on, I'm gonna go get my torque wrench and I'm gonna torque these to specs. And I may have to pull that up on the computer. Let's see if this will work here. This one here. Go up here. So down here. Let's do this this way. Just to kind of recheck them all here. All right, we're good. They're torqued down. Axles in. Now let's see what we got here. 
feels good. We're gonna call it good. We're gonna run with it. Uh, dough bearings that I pulled out of here. The bearing parts weren't pitted. They weren't burnt looking. Nothing really looked bad other than there was more play back and forth than what this is. So I'm gonna call this good. We're gonna put everything back together. Let's go ahead and put this sensor back in before it gets broke. I'd already wiped it off. And it just can go in there one way. And then let's get the boat for that. I think it was a little low 12. Now, if you go back to the uninstall video, basically I'm just doing the reverse of what I did there. Let me bring you in just a little bit. I'm just putting that bolt, that was the sensor back in there. It's kind of dark out here still. But there we go, the sensor's right here and the bolt goes right there. Now this wasn't real tight when I took it out. I'm not going to use the fork wrench. I'm just going to put it in where I think it's good. I do it. Now let's take this brake caliber. Okay, let's slide the brake hood back on. I use some brake clean on this a little bit. Let's slide this back on. We're just going to slide the. Hopefully, this will go on there. It's easy to come off. Looks like it. I may have to separate them. Usually I don't have to. Hopefully it'll go right on there. There it goes. All right, we're clipped on the bottom. Push this little bolt rubber thing back. And there it is. Now all we gotta do is line the bolts up. Now these are also the 10 millimeter. Yes. I have done. I'm gonna have to place this ratchet. It's missing two. see what the torque car is for those and torque those down to the right torque too okay this was in foot pounds and this is supposed to be at 24 foot pounds uh, so I went and got my smaller one because I couldn't get this one on the top uh, bolt okay this is in foot pounds and this is in inch pounds 
The bolt's supposed to be 24 foot pounds. So you, since you're using inch pounds, you're going to take 12 inches times 24, which is like 288, and that's what you're going to set your inch pounds at. And if you remember, I already torqued this bottom one. That 24 foot pounds with that big torque wrench fix. Yep, it did. There it is. Try it one more time. Click. Click. And we're good. Brakes are on. Well, all we gotta do now is put the tire on and this side's done. I'm not gonna show y'all how I put the tire on. Because I'm sure y'all know how to do that. But this was the install. It went really smooth. Uh, the Harbor Freight Press worked like a champ. Uh, save in the long run, it's gonna save me some money because I've got a lot of stuff I'm gonna have to do with this truck. It's a 2006 year model, so it's got some years on it. And I'm just gonna start doing some kind of preventative maintenance stuff instead of waiting for the stuff to tear up on me. I'm just gonna go ahead and start replacing bearings and stuff like that. I'm going to upgrade these brakes and these rotors one day, so uh, that'll be coming. And I'll be checking my U-joints and stuff and my drive shafts and my center bearing on my drive axle. But, you know, I'm just going to start kind of going through stuff and making sure this truck's ready to get in and go whenever I want to go. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, be sure to put them in the comment down there. My email address is in my uh, uh, channel description or profile, so you can email me if you need to. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm going to end this video. Uh, go back and watch the Harbor Freight video. It'll talk about that press. It'll show you how to put it together. Uh, and then the second video, I can uninstall everything i show you everything that i take off and how i get the bearings and the seals off the axle and then uh, this video uh, you see it's the install all the way up to time to put the tire on y'all have a great weekend it's starting to get hot out here i think today's high is 97 no idea what the heat index is going to be but i've already sweated through my shirt so y'all have a great weekend